Hey everybody, time for a new video. Hey, uh, what I got going on right now is uh, I've had some people email me, like I guess young guys, about uh, how lawnmowers work. And um, so, I thought I'd do a little video and show you guys how lawnmowers work, you know. Lawnmowers are uh, probably like the most basic thing that you can, you know, take apart, figure out how they work, and kind of teach yourself how engines work, how spark works, carburetors, all that kind of great stuff. And the cool thing is that they're like easily accessible. <laughs> You know, everybody's got a lawnmower, everybody's got a weed eater, and if you don't, you know you can get them for free. I mean, you can get them, tons of them for free. You can get them for $5, you know, to, to people will pay you to get rid of them, really. So, uh, you know, it's a good example of, like, a way to teach yourself automotive stuff, and this is probably how I, uh, actually, I know it's how I started, you know, wrenching when I was a kid. I had lawnmowers, and I used to mow grass, and I used to try and make money that way. Well, lawnmowers break, especially the old crappy ones that I had, and uh, so you end up working on them all the time. Well, here... Here's a perfect example. This is a uh, free lawnmower, obviously. It's a Craftsman. I don't even know what kind of damn engine this is. It's a Briggs and Strat, and I think it's about a five horsepower, it looks like. But this is like a extremely basic lawnmower, like the most basic $140 lawnmower probably, I'd guess, you can get. And, uh, you know, Briggs and Stratton makes the motors, Tecumseh makes a motor very similar to this, and they're all almost exactly the same. Uh, you know, and I thought this would just be a good example for like you young guys or people who are trying to learn. Like this is a perfect example of, of how to, you know, start. Like I just got this. I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm going to run you guys through the steps of trying to figure it out. A buddy of mine just threw them all away. My buddy Sam. Thanks, Sam. And uh, I'm going to fix it and just figure out what's wrong with it. So, you know, the first things that you need to know on an engine like this is kind of how they work. Okay. Uh, so, you know, how do they work? Well, you know, the, the gasoline engine that you've got, you've just got a tank, and there's gasoline there, obviously, okay? And the gasoline runs down to your carburetor, okay? Well, the carburetor is going to cause you probably the most problems out of anything in this lawnmower or, or your weed eater, okay? The, the, the carburetors get dirty. They have little needles inside there, and so the gas is sitting in the tank. It goes down to the carburetor through a hose, <clears throat> and it's got a little needle. And uh, the little needle has a rubber on the very tip of it where it opens and closes. It opens and closes. It's called a float bowl needle. Okay, and that float bowl, you know, that the very tip of it where it's rubber, it uh, it'll get it'll get soft and it'll get eaten up over time, and you'll end up with a uh, with a no start condition. You'll end up with not getting any fuel, man. It's not getting any fuel. So you know, 90% of the times, the the fix for lawnmowers and weed eaters is usually a carburetor rebuild kit, which is pretty cheap, man. You can order them online. You can find them all over the place. For really cheap, uh, like you know, eight bucks, seven bucks, or so. So you know, this this is also probably a good video if you have a lawnmower and you don't know how to fix it, or you're you know, maybe I'll just go buy a new one, but that one's only a year old. What the hell's wrong with it? Well, it's probably the carburetor, especially modern day. The gassing that we have today, is, uh, believe it or not, it's uh, not that great, man. Like the the ethanol, ethanol is awesome, and gasoline are awesome, but together, not so awesome. Uh, gas and all, you know, gasoline with alcohol used to be called gasohol. Uh, but what happens basically when you have gasoline and alcohol mixed together to 10, I think like here in Tennessee, the other 10 or 15%, 20% even, 20% of uh, alcohol and the rest is 80% of gasoline. But what happens is when you mix those two together, the alcohol is in a, they have a binary agent in there and it actually keeps it from coming out of suspension. But the problem that happens is ethanol will come out of gasoline eventually. If you take a gas, a glass jar and you just fill it with normal gasoline from the, the gas station and you just leave it for about six months to a year you'll come back and you'll see stratification which is just basically you'll see the ethanol at the bottom and the gas at the top and uh, so basically you know in a lawnmower like this or a weed eater or something like that you, know, you end up with this ethanol on the bottom and you end up with this gasoline at the top and the carburetor is just draining from you know the bottom of the bowl to the tank and so you end up just sucking in ethanol well, the engine won't run on ethanol, okay? Like, it, it just can't. And the ethanol will eat up, usually eat up the rubber seals inside it, inside that carburetor, that float bowl seal. Uh, it just doesn't like it. So, anyway, like, like I said, I mean, that's usually what happens. You know, the ethanol will, will, will kind of mess up that little seal and you'll end up having to replace it. So, you see a lot of these that get thrown away. And it's kind of sad because there's so much energy and labor that goes into making one of these engines. I hate to see them all just get chucked, you know? Especially when you can fix it and run it and use it for something else, man. I mean... It's pretty cool. So, you know, the point of the video is too, though, is just to kind of give you a little bit of 
you know, an idea of how they work, and then to show you kind of how you troubleshoot, okay? So, the first thing I'm going to do, I just got this lawnmower, I don't know a damn thing about it, I'm going to check the oil, alright? So I know nothing about it. Oil. Let's see what it looks like. Looks good, it's got oil in it. Let's smell it. Smells like a lawnmower. Smells like it's got gasoline in it. I'm gonna check this dipstick now. See it's clean, kids. See it says full. Now I'm gonna check it. I'm just gonna slide it in there. And you see how it's still got oil in it? It's a little low, but it's not uh, it's not bad and I'm not seeing any metal shavings. That's the other thing that you look for, man, to check the there's definitely oil in it, but there's no metal pieces in there. It's not nasty looking. I mean, it looks like the engine's probably still got, you know, oil in it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to yank these, this specific armor, I'm just going to yank these two, two Phillips heads off, just so I can kind of get a look of what's going on underneath the cover. This is just a plastic cover to keep you from hurting your fingers somehow. Okay, so two Phillips heads, I'm going to yank that thing off. And the thing that I'm also going to do while I take a break here is I'm going to take this spark plug out. I'm going to take this thing off. That's just your coil lead. I'm going to get a spark plug wrench and I'm going to take this thing out, okay? Cool, so here we go. I just took that, that cover off the top just so I can kind of get a look and see what's going on here. I also told you that I was going to take the spark plug coil free. Take this free and take a look at it and see if it's fouled. A lot of times you can get fouled spark plugs. Somebody will run two-stroke oil in it or something and just eventually foul it. As you can see, this could be fouled. It, it looks pretty black, but it might still get spark. That's a questionable, questionable spark plug. So, next thing that we're going to do is uh, check for spark, okay? And how I'm going to do that, it's right here, okay? I just connected the spark plug back to this, this thing right here, the coil wire to the spark plug. Now I'm going to put it at an angle, okay, like that right there, against a piece of metal, an actual good piece of metal. Let's see if I can get it better for the camera here somewhere for you guys. How about, how about that? So you want this thing to be grounded. This spark plug needs to touch a piece of metal. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is spin it over. I'm going to try and pull it and see if I can get spark out of this dang thing. Okay? Oh, we do. See that? We got spark. So we're getting spark now, okay? So, you know, for this thing to run, it only needs a couple things, okay? Any engine will run if it's got compression, if it's got gas or fuel, it's getting a spark of some kind at the right time, okay? So, you know, a lot of guys will say air gas, air gas spark on a gasoline engine, air gas spark. So, you know, air, this is a carbureted, so we're guessing that it's gonna get good air, and we can check that the air filter here in just a second. We know it's got spark, I don't know if it's got any fuel, so let's look and see. Huh, doesn't look like it. There's no fuel in it at all. So, I'm going to put some fuel in it, and we're going to see if we can get some fuel flowing through it, okay? So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to grab some fuel, fill it up, see where we can go from here. Cool, see, I just put uh, gas in it, and you can see it's now pouring out of the carburetor. See that bowl right there? That bowl's a carburetor and it's obviously bad. So we're gonna need a carburetor rebuild kit. We're gonna need a new seal, the new O-ring that goes with it, and uh, that uh, needle valve that I told you guys about. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and dump all this gas right back out. Okay, so that's why there was no gas in it. So you know, there's, it's just not that much stuff that's going on with the lawnmower. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this part and then we'll go from here. So, we saw that the carburetor was leaking, so I took it outside and I dumped all the gas out into a container. And uh, just working with gas is not very fun, so you definitely want to put it in a container and get it away from where you're working when it leaks that bad. So I went ahead and yanked the air filter, if you guys didn't know that. You know, here's the thing, here's the uh, lawnmower. And that's how your air filter would go in. Look a little bit more familiar? So you just have one bolt, one really nasty air filter. The next thing I'm going to do is take this carburetor apart. So. If you guys are watching, you just take these two 8mm bolts free. And you pop these things free. So here we are. Yanked it off just like I said it would. There's your carburetor. This is it. And this right here, this little thing here is what actually opens up your throttle and closes it. 
and it's actuated by this thing right here. So this is the spring, spring and a rod. It goes just like that. And it slips in that hole right there. So I just took it off like that, and here it is. So this is what causes you all your problems. You know, 90% of the problems that you see with lawnmowers is this little culprit right here, and this is a carburetor. So I'm gonna take this bolt right here free. And this whole this whole uh, little bolt will come off. The nut will come free, that will come off, and then we'll diagnose it from there. Pretty simple though, huh? So here's that carburetor. Uh, as you can see, it's nothing real magical. Uh, I took the bowl off, it goes like this. It's a copper washer. And the back valve. So as you can see though, it's pretty nasty. What we're really interested in, slide this pin out. This is called the float, and this is what gets messed up. That thing right there, you see that? That's called a needle valve, that little valve right back there. That's what causes you all these problems. Now some of them will have a rubber tip. This one doesn't have a rubber tip, but a lot of them will. And when it doesn't have a rubber tip, the other place that it'll mess up is right in there. You can see the rubber, instead of being on the tip, is down in there. So this is what's actually causing most of the problems and why the gas is, is leaking so bad out of this carburetor for most likely. It'll actually stick. If you press the little valve in there, you can feel it just barely dragging, and that's all it takes to overwhelm the carburetor, overfill it, and then for it to start pouring out the top and then onto the on the ground. So most lawnmowers that you'll see are thrown away for this reason right here, just because of that little seal. And we can pull that little seal out really easily. All we need is a uh, little pin or, or a toothpick or whatever you can find. You can shove it down in there. Dental pick, whatever. You'll shove it down in there and that thing will come right free. I'll demonstrate. We'll just come over here and we'll look for maybe... Let's see if we can do it with this. That'll work. Pretty crazy. So it's going to be right up in here. Let's see if I can get this thing for you. Oh, no, no. Hey, what's up? I told you guys I'd show you how to fix this little carburetor in the lawnmower. So now I have the parts and now we're going to do it. Here we go. Check it. I told you guys I was going to go get a uh, carburetor rebuild kit. Look what I got. It comes with this nifty needle, a little seal that screws up, and the bowl gasket. It costs $5.49 for all the parts right there. This is the carburetor that I told you that came off the lawnmower, which is over there. Just hate to see them get thrown away, man. What's the point of throwing it away when they're so hard to make? So now, I showed you guys this shitty old seal came out of that hole. So now we're going to get the green seal and we're going to put it in here. I'm just going to take it out, put it in there and just use this. I mean you can use whatever you want and press it in to seat it. So you can kind of see there's a valve in there. I wish we could get good light. Either way, there's a green. It's already in there. You can kind of see it. Valve goes in there next. Yeehaw. Crappy full field bow goes just like this. You can see where it kind of catches the lip right here. So we'll slide this thing on there. I told you wrong, it goes this way. Just like that. And then I'll put the pin back in. Here's the pin, the pin slides right through the holes right there. It's back together, see? All there is is a nut that holds it, you know. Once you put your carburetor back in, there's that little O-ring that goes around there. I showed you guys how to put the bowl back on. You just smush it up. Now this goes right back on like that. So here we go. And I'm gonna replace this fuel line, and we'll have a free lawnmower. Sweet, not free, I guess it costs five dollars and whatever cents. Sweet. So does it run is the question, let's see. I told you guys I got like, uh, I don't know, five dollars in it, let's see. Oh, 
awesome angles of love. Seems like I win. <laughs>